so how to handle this kind of like the conditioning and the understanding thank you sir yeah so all this questioning is going outside and it is going inside both right yes sir yes sir so we have to start settling these questions inside first saying that this question that you are saying you know outside it in other human beings and it is going inside you as well yes what sir. we are saying is that let us settle it inside first okay sir our belief do we think that happiness is something which is going to come from outside through sensation or through some feeling from others or is it something which is an inherent nature of mine and i can settle that happiness that continuity of happiness within myself by way of right understanding and by way of right feeling and right thought what is my own state regarding this uh so if i can see this that my happiness lies in my understanding my feeling my thought then at least i will not be influenced by this kind of thought that you know if i give a kind of gift to someone whether he would like it or would not like it right because i understand that what is going to convey what is going to be conveyed by this gift is my feeling and i have to keep my feeling in place and if i do that i will be in a state of harmony and happiness within and in due course of time i will be able to convey my feeling to the other okay so yeah first thing is that are you afraid of this snake or are you afraid of your your death of the body yes death of the body yeah but so snake is not the issue or yes. snake is the issue na because of snake i am i am fearful otherwise not yeah yeah <laughs> but let us you know kind of these are the issues which we have to start you know sorting out okay the issue is hmm that i think that i am the body right hmm. and i want the continuity of this body which is not so in nature the very nature of body is that it is not continuous if you look at this chart which is displayed here yes right the body is not something which is continuous self is something which is continuous mm -hmm. self is presuming that i am the body and because self has the nature of continuity therefore it is expecting the continuity from the body mm -hmm. the fallacy lies in this assumption that i am the body mm -hmm. so i need this clarity that i am not the body i am the self a kind you know <coughs> activity a consciousness unit mm -hmm. i have this body associated with me and i am using it as an instrument mm -hmm. this is a temporary arrangement mm -hmm. if this clarity is there mm -hmm. then i will certainly take care of the body in terms of nurturing this body protecting this body and ensuring the right utilization of the body right okay. right and in order to protect the body from this snake biting it mm -hmm. i will whatever necessary is to be done but for that i don't need to have fear 
I have to have this sense of responsibility towards the body and therefore by that sense of responsibility for the body of nurturing the body and protecting the body and ensuring right utilization of the body. I will, you know, take care of the body and not let the snake bite my body. Mm. But this is I am doing out of my sense of responsibility, not out of sense of fear. Mm. But usually it is uh, one becomes fearful. I am also fearful. So in this case, uh, whether my concentration is on, on myself or on my body, that's what I am asking. No, no, this is what I am saying. If you start thinking in terms of responsibility towards the body, then your focus will be on the self. Okay. If you become afraid, right, then mm. your attention is not even on the body, your attention is on the snake. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Yes. So your attention is on the snake, your attention is on the, you know, <clears throat> that lati that you want to use for killing that snake. So slowly you would realize that all your attention ultimately goes to the self to begin with. Mm. From there you decide your interaction with the other unit, including body. In that you understand your responsibility towards that particular thing. And then you decide what to do in order to fulfill that relationship with the body or any other unit. Mm. That is how you decide your behavior, that is how you decide your work. But all this time your focus is in the self. Mm -hmm. So while remaining focused in the self and the status of the self, you are interacting with the world outside. Mm -hmm. And if you are doing this, then you will always be in harmony within. in harmony and in a state of happiness within. Uh, in, that, in that condition, uh, really it is, uh, is it uh, doable that they, I can concentrate on the self, not the body? It is not, not only that it is doable, it is necessary. Okay. That is what we want, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. See, human being has very range of possibility. Mm -hmm. You can live at the very lowest level of your being and you can live at your highest level of being. That is what we are saying, you know, that mm -hmm. I can live like an animal mm -hmm. and I can live like a divine. Mm -hmm. Whole range of possibility is there with me. Okay. Can you slowly, you know, ascend to the higher level of my being, hmm. which is the very nature of me, not something which I have to construct. It is there within me. It is there. Only thing is that we were not paying attention to it. Hmm. And therefore, we are not working on it. Hmm. Now we have started paying attention and we are able to see that we are not just the body. But we are the self, we are the seer, the doer, the enjoyer, right? And I have capacity to see things, understand things by paying attention to it. When I understand things and I have the right feelings and right thought towards that thing, then without modifying that thing, I am in a state of harmony and happiness. It is a question of only realization. Yes. It is a question of realization and in order to have realization, it is a question of paying attention towards it. And that is what we are trying to do. Okay, thank you. Yes. Yes. Namaste, Ganesh Ji. Namaste, Namaste. Sabiko Namaste. Uh, Ji, I have got three questions, Ji. First one, 
we are happy to hear your voice particularly i am happy to hear your voice by g yes. then how to decide whether this is happiness or excitement instantly g very simple mm if it is a state of harmony yes right you can continue with it as simple as that if it is a state of excitement you cannot maintain it this is one simple thing second thing is that if you start observing yourself in a state of harmony and happiness you are at peace you are comfortable right when you are in a state of excitement and if you observe yourself you see that you are disturbed and not only you are disturbed you are even disturbing your body so your breathing has become abnormal you know your blood pressure has gone up so all those things you can see yourself you don't have to conduct any test for it isn't it ji but anyway only today you are going to present no ji so i am depending on an external factor so there i had the doubt ji yes any it external... is not going to be continuous also yes anything external whether good or bad if you have dependency on it you are in trouble that is why you know what is said is that if somebody has knowledge understanding right mm. and you are in contact with that person that is not enough mm. take inspiration from the other mm. and have that knowledge within yourself mm. then only you are independent Mm -hmm. it can be a source of continuous happiness for you mm -hmm. so however <laughs> the other person may be uh. not realize yourself the reality <laughs> have the dependence and you cannot have continuity of that mm -hmm. yes for from this thing when you are not well and i realize that it is not in my control the body is not well how to overcome this trap it is a vicious circle yeah okay i mean let's look at this observation you know that you have made the uh, core issue is that when the body is not comfortable or not well and i am getting some sensation from the body which are not desirable sensations right then i react to that sensation and in the process i become unhappy i lose my harmony i am unhappy within and uncomfortable within when the body is in good health and i am not getting those sensations okay i can manage myself that is what you are saying right yes 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 bhai yes so this means that i am still dependent on the body and the sensation from the body for my happiness for my harmony so my harmony and happiness is not born out of my understanding out of my feeling and thought which is based on my understanding so what is happening is that when i am getting favorable feeling from the body it is fine i am not disturbed and then i can manage myself but whenever there is a sensation from the body which is not desirable then i am unhappy right 
and when I am unhappy, I am in contradiction within, I am not able to manage myself. And when I am not able to manage myself, I want to divert my attention. I want to take my attention to those things which will create sensation in the body which are favorable. So I start watching a TV, right? This TV is giving me a set of sensations which are desirable and I am diverting my attention from the undesirable sensation from the body which is generated due to ill health to so this new set of sensation which I am getting through the TV. Is that right? Yes, Bhaiya. Everything is correct. <laughs> Yes. Means uh, I am falling into a trap of negative thingies and I want to overcome that by this outside world. You are right. Yes. So you got into the trap because you were dependent on the sensation outside. And now in order to avoid that, you are getting into new traps. Isn't it? Right. This is what is happening. And this will continue to happen unless you work out your source of happiness as something which is within you, which is in terms of right understanding and in terms of right feeling and right thought. At least you are able to ensure this right feeling and right thought, which will ensure happiness for you without being dependent on the external source, either in terms of sensation or in terms of feeling from the other. So that is the crux. That is where you have to work. And that is what we are trying to say, in fact. In fact, if you look at the essence of what we are trying to say, it is essentially this, that we want continuous source of happiness. And this source of happiness cannot be from outside. It can only be from within. And it is already there. It is already there. Only thing is that we were not paying attention. Right? And therefore, we are dependent on the source of happiness outside, which can never be continuous. Right, right, by you. <coughs> I will work on it. Thank you. Yeah, if you look at this chart, it's a very interesting chart, you know. Yeah. It is talking about almost all these things, you know, which are important. So it says that I want to live, and that's not enough. I want to live with continuous happiness. This need for continuity is not there for the body. The need of continuity is there for the self. And because self is, has identified itself with the body, to the extent that it thinks that it is the self, you know, the, it is the body, and therefore it is desiring for continuity from the body, which is not going to take place, which is not going to happen. <laughs> so this continuity is my problem, and I have to handle it. And if I start handling it myself, I see that I am anyway continuing. <clears throat> right by us. In fact, this fear of death, you know, this death fear is in the self or is in the body? Uh, but now it is <laughs> with the body only, fear attached to the body. So that is why it is so The strong. self is afraid. The self is afraid. Afraid of this possibility that body will die. Really? Correct. Death is going to take place in the body. And self is afraid because 
self considers that I am the body. Yeah. <clears throat> but by have one clarity, the thing is when I am well, completely well, then my right understanding and the clarity is so clear, I am able to carry out. But whenever the body is not well, at the time, this sort of negativity uh, takes strong. That means I, my awareness is not that strong. I am not still clear about myself. Still, there is some area to be worked on. It seems. Yes. True. 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 In fact, you know, it's interesting. You will see when you start working on yourself, certain things are sorted out immediately. And that gives a lot of relief. But then those things which are not sorted out, they start showing themselves. Right? So you have to look at them, observe them, you know, and by observation see the reality and that is how you can resolve them. So it will be an ongoing process, very interesting process. So <clears throat> it is going to take time. Because, because the sanskars are very deep, you know, like I keep telling at least 10 years, you know, it is going to take because this sanskar that we have, you know, we have accumulated over such a long time and they are so deep inside that even when we start working on it, you know, and we are very aware and observant. We are able to see only those sanskars which are on the surface. So the first layer we are able to see and we are able to work on it. And when we are working on it, we are able to slowly evaluate them and you know purify them. But there are sanskars which are very deep rooted and which we are not even able to see. But when we work on the first layer, slowly the second layer comes out. You know. So like that, layer by layer, this process of you know, purification will um, take place. So the 10 years which I keep mentioning, the minimum 10 years time it will take is because so many layers are there and you know, and when you start working, you can only work you know, on it layer by layer. So that clarity we have to have. So if the frequency is going down, it is good. You know, at least we understand the process. And we understand that through this process, if we can purify our sanskar, right, these external things are not going to affect me. Right? They are affecting me because I do not have my own source of happiness. That is somewhere my understanding is failing or my feeling and thought is not natural. And that is what is making me you know, unhappy. So the incidents outside can only trigger the process, but unhappiness is coming because of my reaction to it because of my having this feeling of opposition towards that particular incident. My, react, my <clears throat> thought which is based on reaction, that is making me unhappy. If I have the right feeling towards that based on my understanding of the reality, then I will be in a state of harmony and happiness. I will be responsible towards that thing. And whatever will be the condition of that thing outside, I will try to find out what I can do with that feeling of responsibility, that feeling of relationship and feeling of responsibility. If I am doing that, I am not unhappy. The thing outside may be right, may be wrong. It may be in a natural state or unnatural state. But if I have this feeling of relationship towards that, and I am thinking in terms of how to 
improve upon that particular thing and how to respond to that situation, then I will be in a state of harmony and happiness and I will be able to think better how to improve that thing. So that is, you know, the process, I would say. And you are able to at least see the process. Many times you are able to handle it. But when some deep sanskar, you know, surface out and it overtakes your awareness and your evaluation, then based on that sanskar, you start reacting to this some situation outside. So that will happen, you know, but every time that is happening, if I am able to be aware and observe and evaluate without reaction, then it will be helping me to come out of those deeper sanskar which are surfacing out. So it will take time, you know, that patience we have to have. How to access that, uh, the underlying disharmony? Uh, that is one question. Um, yeah. So, <clears throat> what you have uh, very correctly said, the thought is not enough. Thought is a good beginning. This thought is a good beginning. Mm -hmm to start paying attention to the reality about we you have about which you have this thought mm. okay so when you have this thought that i have to have my source of happiness within myself and not on the activity this thought is good to begin with but this is not enough. Now I have to observe myself. Mm. To observe myself, I have to observe my decision to interact with the activity. I have to observe the expectation from the activity. Right? Yes. All that I have to observe and see for myself. And when I do this, then I can see that when I am doing an activity, I am doing that activity with the realization, with the expectation <clears throat> that doing that activity will result into a state which will give me something favorable for my happiness. Mm. So if I go to the restaurant and eat some good food, that activity will give me sensation which will give me happiness. Mm. Okay. So I must observe all this. Yes. And then I see that, okay, I go to the restaurant, I, you know, order for something, I eat that, you know, and I get that sensation and I feel happy at that moment. But then there are many problems with it. I cannot continue eating. So I cannot continue to get that sensation. Then there is a problem that many times this sensation is not as per your expectation. So the salt is less or more or something like that. You know, this will keep happening. Right. Yeah, but yeah, it is. Uh, sorry. So I have to observe all this. Yes. And similarly, I have to observe this fact that whenever I am in a state of <clears throat> harmony by way of having right feeling, the natural feeling, I am in a state of happiness. Mm. In regard of what is happening outside. Mm. In regard of the test I am getting. So if somebody, you know, offers me something for whom I already have a right feeling. Hmm. Right? For example, your young daughter, if she prepares something hmm. for the first time and it is not testing good, 
<laughs> you don't feel unhappy. Yeah. You have the right feeling for your daughter, and you feel okay. Now she is learning very good. At least she has tried out. So this sensation is not dominant on your happiness. You are feeling at that moment towards that person is what is important. Mm. These observations you have to make, and you have to see that as a reality. Mm. Then you will be able to take care of other. You know, incidences taking place otherwise. Currently, mm. you have a thought, a good thought, but you don't have those observations and realization born out of that. Mm. Therefore, it is a thought, and when some other sanskar is there deep into you and it becomes active, right, and it mm. generates a feeling otherwise, it generates a thought otherwise. This old thought is. You know, pushed aside, hmm. 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 and start reacting. Ji, come on, happy. Hmm. And this, yes, it is true for the sensation that you get from the physical things. Yes, it's true for the feeling that you get from other people, and it is also true for your own imagination, your hmm. thoughts, your feelings, even your sanskar. Hmm. The core issue is that I am observing something, and I am not understanding that thing. Hmm. I am not understanding that thing. Therefore, I am not able to define my relationship with it properly, and therefore, I am not able to have the right feeling naturally. Hmm. Hmm. When I do not have that right feeling, instead of a sense of responsibility towards it, I have a sense of reaction towards it. Mm -hmm. And this reaction is making me unhappy. <laughs> yeah, it is getting into loop. Mm. Yes. So this reaction is making me unhappy. If I have the understanding about myself, understanding about the other thing, then I can see my relationship with the other thing, and with that seeing relationship, I will have the right feeling, the feeling of responsibility towards the other. Mm. Rather than reaction towards the other, when I have the feeling of responsibility towards the other, I am feeling related to the other. I am in a state of harmony and happiness, in mm. regard of what the status of that other thing. Mm. Mm. So, if that thing status of the other thing is good, I will do some work out some program with him or her. If the status of the other is not good, I will do something to improve upon the other. Mm. Other than reacting to it and getting unhappy. Yes, and that is true for myself also. Yes. Yeah. True for my own state of being. Of being. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now, Bhaiya, uh, just one more uh, thing uh, that this uh, even when I think about self and body, even the body, whatever my perception of body is, that is also my self's perception of a body. Yes, uh, uh, because I cannot think of anything without the self, because um, even this discontinue—I uh, mean, the discontinuous need of the body or physical facility for the body—is my perception, because um, because I don't eat frequently or I take breathing um, intermittently. The body might be. Acting, some functions in the body must be acting continuously. That I don't know, but in my consciousness, the body's needs are intermittent. Yes. Um, so that is one understanding. But another thing is, um, this is like um, my experience in my consciousness is um, generally the coexistence of uh, self and body. <laughs> And um, uh, like many of our evolution and other things, or Western thinking considers that self is a uh, evolved property of the body. Like body became complex and complex, and um, and we we think that self has manifested itself through body. Um, but we don't have this feeling of 
self existing independent of the body um so uh, there are uh, i mean there are certain things like you know uh, the bodily structure like some ex i mean this is not in the normal case but abnormalities in which uh, there are some diseases in which body is not functioning well um still is there a possibility that self uh, self is completely independent of the body and acts and takes care of the uh, its own function i mean yeah this... in fact see this is something which you can observe right now okay you start observing yourself okay in fact when you do exercise too you will be able to understand this better my interaction with the body is by my decision and it is through sensation mm -hmm. so whenever i read a sensation from the body i can feel that yes the body is there if i am not reading the sensation from the body it is immaterial whether the body is there or not mm -hmm. and there is no way for me to no whether the body is there or not there so this is one thing that you can see second thing you can see is that you are not reading the sensation from the body most of the time mm. only once in a while you read the sensation mm. Mm. that means for the rest of the time it is immaterial whether the body is there or not there <laughs> but as far as the self is concerned it continues to function yeah without interacting with the body in terms of reading the sensation yeah we are not we have not observed ourselves we have become so <laughs> this idea that i am the body yeah right now yes. if you start observing you will see that you rarely interact with the body most of the time you are busy with yourself <laughs> isn't it yes like you are angry with someone right yes And king of how to take revenge from him <laughs> so first you are just thinking just reflecting on it right hmm and after two hours you drop the idea <laughs> okay. hmm. now what happened at the level of body you have not done anything yeah at the level of self you have done so much yes does it happen <laughs> yes 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 you are not observant yeah yeah thank you ganesh bhai yeah thank you yes thank you to have you today yeah. thank you amol ji grateful grateful yes yeah okay we can listen to amol ji namaste ganesh bhai namaste yeah it is uh, with respect to what has happened yesterday on the family in the evening or when we were sitting in the hall Uh, there was a lizard which was going on on the wall. So my wife and the daughter they were unhappy about it, and they asked me to move ahead because it is going to fall on me. I said, "You are just looking at it, and it is living by itself. Why do you want to bother about it? It is just uh, you need to be there in harmony because everything in nature is there by itself. Find it until unless I disturb, it doesn't." create me any any disturbance so that was my understanding and uh, and both uh, wife and uh, daughter were uh, got into the discussion that okay they were telling me an example that okay if you are there in the forest and a lion comes and how do you say you say that everything is in harmony and uh, stay there i said no what i do is with my own right understanding i i do whatever is there helpful for me but today's exist uh, whatever you are saying the explanation with respect to not looking at the body uh, or uh, thinking that uh, the consensus is is greater or the self is is above the body so then things will be more better but i said it was only with right understanding so that is added up in the morning discussion in my own understanding and uh, looking at the reality as it is so i would like to quote an example when i was moving in the car in the morning when i was going to the college i saw a student of third semester whom i had done one uhv class was just holding at the crossroads 
to go to institution the moment i saw him i was uh, in a, in a, at the instant i had an uh, feel that i should help him out to take him to the college but i i i just folded myself and uh, i was not uh, ready to help him understanding that he is a student or might be he may not recognize me uh, all that imagination co- had come into me and not able to do what i was instantly and the, uh, the feel was there with uh, with myself so th- this keeps on happening hey even i am seeing so many female uh, class four servants who are there in the college they will be waiting at the crossroads what i understand is i my assumption will be that they should ask me the help then only i should render them so all this keeps on happening even though uh, the awareness is there that i need to help but i do not get into that part so that's what uh, was my reflection so what is happening around and uh, most of my understanding is improving my day by day i am able to be there thank you yes very nice <coughs> all this is going to happen step by step so you are sincerely working on yourself at least we are able to notice all these things now right uh, what yes is that, that's and the, then that's what the, is happening inside very interesting seeing the reality as it is it, it's really enlights it gives you a lot of uh, fulfillment in yourself that feel is there yes yes yeah. true yeah. very revealing and very you know comforting yes yes you are from gulbarga yes yes bro yes yes thank you nice to see you in fact when uh, uh, if you have gone through the introductory workshop and you must have gone through it anyway i thought uh, when we talking about the res- feeling of respect right first and then respect one thing that was discussed and clarified was that when you look at the other person you will see that in terms of their natural acceptance in terms of their intention they are like us so like we want to be happy and make others happy the other people also want to be happy and make others happy now this clarity of intention has to be there right if we have this clarity of intention we will have this feeling of trust so this is first part the second part is that though i have the intention to be happy and make others happy am i able to do it am i able to make myself happy all the time am i able to make others happy all the time so this second is set of questions related to my competence so if i study myself i can see that i have good intention always but i may not have the competence similarly i can see that the other person has good intention but he may not have the competence may or may not have the competence so if i can see this number 1 i will have trust on intention of the other number 2 when i am making a program with the other i will evaluate my competence i will evaluate his competence or her competence and on the basis of that i will make the program so this is important so everybody has good intention that will lead to a feeling of trust for everyone but when i am making the program with the other i will have to evaluate my competence i will have to evaluate the competence of the other and that is how i will make the program with the other so for example when i am talking to you i am talking in english because i have made this evaluation that i can speak in english and you can hear and understand english language so this evaluation of competence we have done and therefore we are talking in english right so that evaluation of the competence has to be there in any interaction that or any program that we are making with other human being that right? we have to evaluate our own competence 
competence of the other right and at the base of it certainly will be the purpose that we want to serve through this program right yes sir. yes sir thank you so much yes yeah so for example if it is a issue of marriage right the purpose of marriage is to have a family which can take care of the past generation and the future generation so the senior elders in the family and the children in the family it can give the right kind of education and sanskar to the children it can produce what is necessary for the family and take care of the nurturing the family and protection of the family and also giving the right kind of environment in the family for nurturing others both in terms of the body and in terms of the self now if all this is the purpose then on the basis of this i will find out whether i have that competence or not whether the other person has the competence or not right and that is how i will decide whether i have to make a program to you know be a part of the family with the other or not and if i have already made this program and if i do not have the competence i have to develop that competence for myself and for the other isn't it yes sir oh uh, yeah so maybe if i didn't evaluate the competence if uh, like uh, truly based on intention if i select the person it will be a uh, somewhat a disturbance to me i can able to feel that yes disturbance to you and to other also yes so it has to be based on <laughs> the competence okay. evaluation thank okay. you so much nice. so i think it's time now